And welcome to another edition of International Soccer Break. I'm your host, Sahil, here with Rahi, and we're bringing in a very special guest and friend of ours, live from Jordan, Fadi. And Fadi, unfortunately, we were hoping we'd be talking to you, celebrating, you know, with everything and fireworks and all that. But unfortunately, in the end, it came a little short. It was a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, we're still happy. We're proud Jordanians. Uh, what our national team did in this tournament was way beyond our expectations before starting the tournament. They made this pro country proud. They played a good final, I think. We fell short. Uh, maybe some changes in the game. Maybe the game would have went uh, in a different direction. But we'll say we are still proud. We still celebrated uh, after the game. We were happy. Uh, of course, there was disappointment. We wanted the cup. It was the, our first final ever. Uh, but regardless, uh, we want for for sure. We're thankful for our players, the coach, uh, the heads, everybody who was involved in that uh, amazing run in the tournament, and they surely did us proud. I think absolutely they did you proud. As yeah. a neutral, you really captured our hearts, and, and especially in that moment. When Yazan al scores that equalizer, you thought they were back. And the energy, and it's such a beautiful goal. And for moments, I thought, okay, they're back now. They're going to bring that magic that they brought so many times. Unfortunately, I felt they were unlucky, right? I think the penalties were probably correct. But to lose to three penalties is very tough as a team and on the players, I think. Yes, it's, it's something you don't always see when you watch a football game. Uh, I don't. I also don't think the penalties were not correct. Maybe the first one, I would say, was a little bit uh, uh, tough, but I did expect it to be given as a penalty. Uh, second one was for sure a penalty. I wouldn't even argue it. Uh, third one, I would also say a little bit, uh, maybe harsh, maybe controversial, but still, uh, I do understand why the ref gave it to the team. Uh, it was a great game. We When we equalized, it was one of the happiest moments. I was in my house watching the game. I started hearing screaming from the neighborhood, uh, from <laughs> other people. It went crazy in the country. Uh, we live uh, to see our national team when everybody was with Jordan. Uh, traffic was all over the place, even before the game started. People trying to get to places to watch the game. Uh, it was an amazing atmosphere. We lived uh, uh, an amazing month, and we're happy that uh, our national team, our football national team, uh, may even reach to you guys and you heard about us. And uh, this is what makes us proud of them. And I'm sure they did capture the heart of uh, the hearts of many people. Uh, yeah. And one of my favorite things when I watch uh, Jordan. Not because I'm a Jordanian. I like the the spirit when they uh, they play football. They have this special thing about them. They have a very brave spirit. Uh, they they play for for the for our flag. They protect it. They have a, such a great brave spirit. I respect it very much as a football fan. Yeah. Before moving on from the match, and I, I do want to talk a little bit more about the match because I felt it was very unfortunate yeah. the moment the second penalty happened because that was when Jordan was dominating the match. They yes. score the equalizer, and at this point, you're probably thinking, "Okay, we're going to take this match over." Yes, exactly. this is exactly what I felt. Yeah, this is what I exactly did feel. But unfortunately, it was the penalty. It was given. Uh, it was tough, really tough, not the best feeling ever. Uh, the game, even after the second penalty was scored, I still, I did still believe we had a chance. But it was over after the third one. Yeah. It was very unfortunate. Uh, they did they did play a great game. Uh, first half, I would say Jordan didn't perform what we expected. I did expect uh, for them to go into the match with maybe a higher spirit, but it's still... Uh, we're playing in Qatar grounds. It's expected for them to have the crowd. They had a, a braver start into the game. Uh, they had the upper hand at the beginning. They did deserve the first goal. Uh, they were pressuring us as a team. Uh, at the end of the second half, uh, sorry, the first half, we started to uh, put in some pressure. The half ended. Uh, for me, 
from the beginning of the first half until the 70th minute, we had we had played a really good uh, good football and we did deserve our goal. But unfortunately, you know what happened in the yeah. rest of the game. Yeah, it's it's an unfortunate end, but I think like you mentioned, you're gonna welcome the team back home. Um, you know, and and yeah, our airport for sure. Tell us, you said that there's still celebrations outside now, even after the loss, which I think is reflective of how well they've done and how surprising in many ways. Yeah. But what they really contribute to this tournament, and as you said to to the fans as well, because you had this feeling watching them play that they're on a different level emotionally. They yes. connected with fans and with neutrals as us. They really did connect. Uh, for what I feel about our uh, national team, I feel that, that now we have a golden golden generation of players. We have great talent. We have a great coach. Uh, before the tournament, if you would ask me, I would tell you I don't expect much from them. They did actually really uh, catch us by surprise. Uh, but our coach, uh, Amuta, he did an amazing, amazing job in the friendlies. A lot of people, if you would ask, they were against. They didn't want him to play the tournament, but he proved everybody wrong. He stayed silent, which is very professional for a coach. He didn't listen to anybody's criticism or or anything. He just was focused on the project he built. Uh, he showed he showed us a great team in this uh, Asia Cup. They didn't disappoint at all. Uh, if you want like a moment we we would never forget as Jordanians. Yes. I, I wanted to ask you I wanted to ask you Fadi like what are what is a moment that you'll never forget or if you have two moments give me two moments but I, I need to ask I you that because Jordan created some amazing yeah I can you can you moments, to be honest yeah but, but, but uh, yeah go ahead main, main, I'll give you the, the top one main moment yes. uh, was the Iraq game yeah uh, the comeback it's stoppage time comeback 94th minute goal 96th minute goal it's crazy uh, you never see that in any type of football match. Uh, watching your national uh, your national team score that and winning the game from being 2-1 down, that was one of the craziest moments ever. Uh, top second, uh, uh, it's a little bit, I don't know, second and third, um, yani they could be interchanged between each other uh, for different reasons. Because my top second moment would be our victory against Korea, for sure. Uh, third would be our draw against Korea because our draw against Korea did also show us uh, that our national de- team could go far into that tournament. That's what was so special about that draw in that because in the beginning we nobody ever expected. F- for me, honestly, after we conceded that penalty from Son in the group stage match, I thought we were out of the game, and then they surprised me with pressure. They uh, they showed the team that they're they're not afraid of them. They went into attack mode and they scored two goals. This is where I got I actually opened my eyes to watch Jordan play this tournament. Yeah, they left a lot of amazing moments. I know Rahi, you watching that you know Iraq game, you yourself even as a neutral were viscerally saying, "Wow, this is this is amazing stuff." I, you know, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. It was incredible, incredible, and they deserved it the way they came back into the game. But that. And the winner, the final goal, is such a beautiful goal to win it on. It's incredible. Where were you? Were you at home watching that when 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 they scored the winner? You. I want to know. Before the recording start started, they asked you asked me both uh, where did I watch the games? I always watch them at home. It's a ritual for me. I didn't change anything, so we would win every time. It was working until the end, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was at home actually, but it's always uh, with family, not alone. Uh, everybody went crazy. It was unreal, unreal. Yeah. So look, Fadi, I think, you know, Jordan has captured our hearts. Uh, obviously, yeah. you know, our family is originally from India. So that's our, you know, team in Asia. But now we have a, we have a second team that we can support in oh, Asia. So we... You don't understand how happy that makes me feel yeah. and proud. This is this is what I was expecting. This is what I really wanted, and this is the main like benefit from what we did reach, uh, capturing the hearts of the neutrals. Yeah, this. and so just real briefly on that, obviously the next time we'll see the Jordanian national team in a competitive match is of course in March, 
where, you know, now a little bit of a rocky start to the World Cup qualifying. You know, you had the loss to Saudi Arabia and then, you know, Tajikistan has showed that they're a tough team. So they are. that's even, that's even probably even the team the that's going to be, it's going to be between, you know, those two teams trying to get out of the group, right? So Yeah, exactly. And now it's going to be between basically three teams, Saudi Arabia, uh, Tajikistan, us, even Pakistan could surprise us. They could give away. Now football, I think... Uh, the differences between strong teams and weaker teams uh, is getting much more narrow. It's much more narrow than before. Uh, anything could happen. Uh, I can't tell you for sure. I, uh, as a Jordanian, of course, I hope so. We do get into one of those top two positions so we can advance uh, into the next uh, World Cup qualifier stages and uh, hopefully make it and be in the US. Yeah. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to see you over here in uh, yeah, of you know. course. Uh, I'll be there if, if we make it. Why not? Sure, yeah. Uh, Rahi, any finishing points before we wrap on the Asian Cup? No, just to thank you for, for, for joining us and thanks to, to your team, really, for giving us these incredible moments. I mean, it's been an incredible tournament. We've been watching the African Cup of Nations as well, alongside the Asian Cup, and both tournaments have provided these crazy moments, and in many ways. The craziest and the best story has been, to some extent, Jordan. Just what they've done, how they've been able to come back into games. Against Korea, we really, all of us, made the mistake of thinking Korea being ranked so much higher that this would be an easy game for the Koreans, ignoring what had come before. And the Jordanians did everything right. And the, and, and the players, you've, I mean, we're all familiar a little bit. We know Altamari a little bit because he plays in France. But, I mean, so many players have emerged as real talents. And the, what impressed me the most is the way the Jordanians, the way you, you're able to control the ball, the technical abilities is extremely impre impressive. And I think all I can say is thanks to, thank you, thanks to the team. Yeah. You've given us some amazing moments and you've made this month incredibly enjoyable. That's, yeah. that's my final word. Yeah, for, for all the viewers out there, we hope you enjoyed watching our coverage of the Asian Cup. And... You know, if this is something you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. Fadi, I'm going to leave it to you. I always give the guests the opportunity with the final word. So you can say whatever you want for the Jordanian national team, and we'll end there. Uh, to everyone else out there, keep watching the beautiful game. Fadi, over to you. Okay. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, you don't understand how proud of a Jordanian I am after hearing that we grab the hearts of many neutrals and all of this, these amazing words. My final words for, for our national team, if I were to say something, thank you, if not once, maybe a million times. Uh, you made us all proud. You did your best. Uh, it was an amazing month. Uh, nobody expected that. Uh, we, did, we did know we do have talent. It was a tactical master class from our team. I don't want to say thank you only to the players. Uh, our coach, Amota, he really deserves a lot of credit for what he did and what he did build for our team. And I wish them all the best in the future. I hope they qualify into the World Cup for the first time ever. We never did that before. Maybe 20, 2026 would be our uh, first year. Uh, in the US, it would be a, pre a pleasure for sure to be in the World Cup. Uh, and this is all I have to say. You made us all proud.